What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel for some more Bushido style tandem competition content here for today. We're testing out some more cars. We got real head motion activated so we're going to be in first person this time and a lot of people were saying rest in peace to hood view again but we're not going to be in hood view we're going to be in that first person in our real head motion so we are going to be testing out the Bushido E46 and we are going to be going to Bushido style drift to track so this track's pretty fun it's kind of a nice flowy and a very good track to get used to cars so we're going to be testing that today we're going to be t probably testing out the E46 maybe the Mustang and one or two other cars so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all of which are found in the description box below we're gonna get this loaded in and let's get started so I did also get the tablet screen adjusted so it's darker so you may be able to see it a little bit better and like I said we are gonna be in first person here as you can see the tablet screen working perfectly fine the shooto style content definitely super excited to be throwing in myself into competing here in a set of Corsa as you can see I got the real head motion set up kinda how I want it it's not super aggressive where it looks as we record 46 it's not super aggressive when it comes to turning style because I don't like so much we're gonna get the cursor out of the way so much where it goes too far left or too far right so this is kinda where we're set at I have it slower down slower down slowed down so that it doesn't screw with my head a little bit too much so Bushido style Bushido 2 E46 let's uh Take the first rip in this E46 and see how the E46 I'm still leaning towards the Corvette so far. So. Take it in. Oh, little hesitation there. Should have clutch kicked sooner. Kind of messed up the line there, but I'm going to somewhat bring it back around. Now the only thing, oh there we go, oh I got off the, didn't get off the clutch soon enough. So the only thing that I don't find too fun about this track is you can't really get a good replay, where's my mouse, <laughs> we can't really get a good replay because there's no replay camera that shows the whole track. So we're going to have to go basically to a chase cam to uh, see how we did on this track so initially I feel like the first initial part was pretty good E46 handles pretty well I do like the way the engine feels and everything I make those lines quick flick in a little handbrake to keep off there no braking whatsoever over rotate a little bit too much there which kind of kicked me out of the way and we're able to somewhat salvage the run on the latter section of it kind of hitting the cliffs where we need to that one was a little bit off, a little quick flick. And this is where I should have gone right into fourth and just clutch kicked out and gone out to the outer edge. So we're going to run this one more time. But we're just going to finish this track off. So if you guys are in store and still enjoying the Bushido style uh, content, let me know down in the comments. Definitely going to be also doing some VDC stuff. Got the VDC cars and everything installed. And I think I may have found my favorite VDC car in that pack. And uh, I'm definitely going to be doing stuff with that. The real head motion definitely takes some time getting used to, but I feel like it is bound to help also because, well, now I can see where I'm pointing. So I just got to get used to it. Like I said, we'll be doing an Oculus soon. Cursor out of the way. We'll be doing an Oculus soon, but for the moment, we're going to be using real head motion and being first person because I don't want to be the person that rips into not running first person in a set of Corsa. So another run here in the C46. It's a clutch kick. A little grass cut, nothing major. Right on the cone. There we go. This is a much better run. Oh, until we do that, until we overthrow it. So the E46 is definitely a very fun car to drive. And I feel like I've said this before, I'm very comfortable on non-turbo lagged cars. 
because that's just what I'm used to driving. So I could change my driving style and get used to turbo lagged cars, but it'll just definitely take a minute or so. Oh, oh God, tree. Oh, good thing the tree was not see-through. Oh, but that wall was not. So we're gonna switch up cars. We'll try a different car here and see, test out a couple more of these Bushido style cars. So we did try the Corvette, we have tried this. I gotta update the files to get the um, sound for the S14. They did put it up, so I gotta get that up there. So we're gonna throw in the Mustang, load it into Bushido style 2, and see what we can do with it. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Drop me a subscribe if you do like this content and want to see more. I'm going to be forcing myself to do more and more aggressive content with a set of Corsa and some new games. But also practice so much so that I can, you know, be competitive in, you know, a set of tandem competitions. There's a couple of them out there, but Bushido Style, is, like I said in the previous episode, is the seating seat for VDC. So, the Mustang. I, if you notice, I have turned off the visual virtual steering wheel. I feel like it's more comfortable for me not to see it. So that's why I have it off. So if it's bothering you guys that there is no virtual steering wheel, let me know down in the comments because I personally don't use it because, well, I'm looking through a steering wheel myself. So that's the reasoning behind that. So let's see how this Mustang goes. Um, from what I've heard, the Mustang has a little bit of understeer that we're going to have to either figure out or fix. But we'll see how it goes first and foremost. I think right there was a little bit of understeer, but we managed to... Almost died. Almost died the car, had to clutch kick it out. Oh wow, all right, so Mustang definitely got a lot of snap and a lot different. So, does not surprise me because it is based off Chelsea Denofa's Mustang, I believe. So see if we can't run the back half of this track and see if we can maybe just get a little more comfortable with the car. Now I am using wheel settings that Fanatec had put on their website for recommended settings here for a set of Corsa. And I am liking how it feels, but it does have a little wheel resistance because I am running my DRI at, I believe, negative one instead of off. So the wheel feels good, it doesn't snap back super quick, but that makes me have to know how the car is reacting because then I need to definitely be ready to transition back if I have to. All right, so we're gonna give this Mustang one more shot on this track, Bushido style logo, right there on the top. So let's send it, little GoPro, I just noticed there's a little GoPro mount right in the corner underneath all the switches, huh. All right, Mustang, run two, give it a shot. Let's kick it in. There's a little bit of understeer. We could probably get rid of that understeer with some tuning on suspension and tires, but we're just seeing how this runs without it. They kind of stall the car out there. Oh, and that snapback did get me again. So the Mustang, I feel, could use some fine tuning for myself, but it is a very fun car to drive. Oh! Especially when you go off-road into a fence. But I don't think it's a car that suits me. So we're going to try one more car here for today. And I'm unsure. I'm also trying to find a car that's right-hand uh, or left-hand drive because, well, that's what I'm used to. So BRZ I know is not, but we're going to give it a go. So I know the Skyline is a very amazing car, but the right-hand driveness doesn't mess with me because you know it's not a big deal but with my shifter and everything being on you know my right I would feel weird driving a right hand drive car with all of this stuff over here trying to stay more immersive in the style of driving but you know it doesn't really make too much of a difference so we're gonna try the BRZ here today affiliated with VDC do you like how the dash looks on this one 
aggressive. Very aggressive. We're going to give this car a try here for today and see. Oh my. That just throws so much angle from the get go. gearing is not right for what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, I thought we were going to rip the front end off. So the BRZ, definitely a crazy fun car. It throws a lot of angle really fast. We're going to do a little bit of a replay on this because I want to kind of see what angle that thing threw. So we're going to go chase two. It looks aggressive with that big wing. Just threw massive snap angle right away. Definitely looks cool and it's a very amazing sounding car. There we go. So, I feel like with some grip tuning, I could probably make this car handle a lot better. Now, I wish it wasn't right hand drive, but if the car handles how I need it to, then I'll just get used to the right hand drive. This, you guys will have to blast me in the comments of being right hand drive car with a you know, left-handed drive setup. So, we're gonna resume. We're gonna give this car another go. Oh, we almost wrote the car off. So I feel like we could add some grip to this car. It may handle a little bit differently, and it would probably handle pretty well. And then we have one more car to really test, and that's the Toyota Crown. We may test that car as well here for today. Make it a little bit longer of an episode for you guys. So we're going to give the BRZ another go. And then maybe next episode we'll start looking at some VDC cars. And uh, some VDC tracks. And see what we can come up with on those cars. We're going to try and stay in third gear. A lot of clutch kicks. Oh, we stalled it. So definitely would have to tweak the gearing on this car if I would want it. Oh my, wrong button. Definitely have to tweak the gearing on this car if I'd want it to actually handle how I need it to be, as well as the suspension. But I'm still leaning towards that Corvette. So we're gonna try the Crown as the last car here for today, and we will see how the Crown does. So definitely very impressed with these uh prosciutto style cars they're very fun cars they you know very well built very well looking and they sound amazing the skyline probably one of my favorite sounding cars if i can get used to the turbo lag i may run the skyline but like i said i've just been so used to driving cars without turbo lag that it's a new style of driving that i'm trying to learn last car crown <laughs> Like the fact that I'm missing the steering wheel in the car, let me know down in the comments. It's just, it's easier for me because there's nothing there, not focused on it. And also, I have the wheel in my hands. That's why I'm overlaying the wheel here for so far in one of these cars we're definitely gonna take a replay of that we're gonna go check the chase camera a little style so the Toyota 
definitely a very big car, but... Thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.